What's going on YouTube? Atomic Laser coming to you with a uh, quick little mail day video. And I'm also going to do an update on the Iconic set. So yeah, um, as you can tell, I'm kind of sick right now. I had to uh, call off work. So I'm going to be home probably for a few days sick. So if there's any videos you want me to, you want me to make, like any like collection updates or you know how I organize my cards or something like that, let me know. Um, uh, so yeah, let's get into the uh, mail day. So first... Um, got this a long time ago. I just forgot about it. Uh, group break. I got into. Got this Vinnie Johnson insert, a Vinnie Johnson prism, and a Jody Meeks prism. So yeah, those will just go to the Pistons PC, I guess. Nothing really too exciting. Um, next, I got from the preferred for the Dinwiddie side PC. Um, a rookie auto from um, Dynamic Rookies or something like that. Yeah, Dynamic. No, Dynamic Debut. This set looks really nice. I don't know what it is about it. Um, the silver goes really good with the card. The autograph area is really nice looking. It reminds me of like an older, um, an older card from the early, two, or early mid 2000s. I don't know why, it just does. Yeah, really nice set. If I had to do a set besides the iconic, it'd be this one, I think. Preferred looks really nice this year. Um, next, there's three rookie autos I want to pick up this summer. One of them being Jabari Parker, which is going to be very hard to get, I'm sure. And I really don't know if I'm going to end up getting one, just because the, um, they're pretty expensive. Another one is Dante Exum, who I definitely will be able to get. And then the third one was this guy, Alfred Payton. Got him from Spectra. I'm not really a big fan of this card, honestly. It's a player worn jersey, um, sticker auto. The design is cool, but like with with it only being like gray, it doesn't really look that nice. Um, I had, let me find it. I have this Drummond patch, and this looks really nice from Spectra with the silver and green. But maybe it's just because this is the base version. It's just silver. It doesn't look that great. But like, this looks amazing right here. They did a nice job with the jerseys, but the jer the, the autos does not look good. All right, so next one, uh, the only Drummond pickup, surprisingly. Um, I was missing three of the really easy to get base autos, base rookie autos. His past and present one, I don't know. I haven't gotten that. Threads, I haven't gotten that yet. I don't even know why I haven't gotten either of them. They pop up on EB all the time. And the third one is Brilliance, which I finally did pick up. I was able to get it pretty cheap. So, it's a good one to have. I think that actually completes the Brilliance set. I think I have all the cards from Brilliance now. His rookie cards, at least like the regular parallel. I think I have a couple of the Starburst parallels. All right, next, um, starting a little Reggie Jackson side PC. You're not really gonna be too, going too avid for it, but um, I did buy a few cards, and then now I'm just gonna trade for Reggie Jackson stuff whenever I can, just rookie stuff. Um, so if you have any uh, rookie Reggie Jackson stuff, let me know. Um, I already had two rookie autos. I did pull two rookie autos. One of them I traded with Zach Randolph for a new Ginobili auto. The other one is this um, Absolute out of three ninety nine. So that's my first Jackson. I think I also have the uh, red from Totally Certified. Actually, now that I think about it, so I'll have to go pull that one out of the box. And then um, I did pick up three cards of his. Um, first, I picked up this duel with Kendall Marshall from um, National Treasures out of 49 for Matt's B-Ball cards. Um, I bought this off a guy on Facebook, um, totally certified base auto. And then I bought this off a guy on Instagram on through eBay. He didn't want to do it just PayPal. He wanted to do it through eBay. I don't know why. I guess he likes paying fees. But it's the uh, four out of five green, totally certified um, parallel, a totally green. This is a really nice card, and it's a really rare card, so I'm really happy to get that for a good price. Um, I think Reggie Jackson's gonna explode next year, personally. Um, a good thing is a lot of people think he sucks, just because they look at his stats. But if you look at his stats, I think the last 14 games of the season, he was averaging 20 and 10 with the Pistons. And I know with with the Pistons, even with his rough start, he averaged like 17 or 18 points, 9 assists, 
five rebounds on like 44% shooting. So he's a very good player for us. And I'm going to be trying to pick up some stuff in the summer while it's cheap because I think he's going to just skyrocket next year. He can honestly turn into an all-star. I know I sound crazy, but Stan Van Gundy's not crazy for giving a huge contract. So watch out for him. And then next, I have two cards for the Iconic set, and then we'll go into the whole Iconic set. I am now down to 23. I have 23 cards out of the 50, but I was looking at the set or the checklist. I have all pretty much mo most of the hard to get guys. I don't have the Kevin Durant. I know a couple people that have it. I might try to go after it. Um, and I don't have another big name. I don't have is like Ray. I think Ray Allen's in there and Chris Paul. But um, there are some players in there like OJ Mayo. He would not be an expensive player. But I have never seen a car his card, and it's out of 99. I've never seen his card in any forum or on eBay, so I'm wondering if even some of those were even made. But there's a few other players, too, that like really common and really cheap players, just never seen them on eBay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'll get into the two first the two pickups I got. Um, Goran Dragic, I used to have this card the first time I did the Iconic set. Um, after I got to, like, 15, I think I disbanded it. No, I think I got to 10 cards, and I, like, traded all of them. Um, I even pulled one. I think I pulled Ty Lawson out of blue, and I ended up trading it to Al G. Some of you guys remember him back in the day, Ty Lawson, Super Collector. Um, but, yeah, now I think I have all the cards that I used to have now. Besides maybe Roy Hibbert. I think I used to have a Hibbert. I don't have that anymore. But yeah, and then the second one, um, Chris Bosch. Out of 25, pretty hard one to get, honestly. I've really only seen... I think this might be the only one I've ever seen on eBay. So I wanted to pick that one up. All right. And now I'll get into the whole set. So obviously we have those two that I just picked up. Some of these are in mags that shouldn't be in mags. And the one, some of them that aren't in mags should be in mags. So I'll probably have to rearrange those later. But um, I'll just show you what I have so far. So a few of the guys aren't even don't even play anymore. Uh, Belvoir, Hakeem Warwick, Bynum, yeah, some shittier guys, Budinger. Uh, oh, the Bynum is a uh, short print out of 25. And we got um, Perkins, Aaron Brooks, Brandon Bass, um, George Hill, Mario Chalmers, um, Jose Calderon, Andrew Bogut, Drew Holiday, Anderson Vergeau. Jeff Teague, and then the finals MVP, Andre Iguodala, and that's a short print out of 49. Most of them are out of 99. Oh, the Chris Bosch is also a short print. That's out of 25. And then some of the better ones I got. Marcus Aldridge. Out of 49. That one's going to be probably go up in value. Uh, Steve Nash is almost pretty good, pretty hard to get for a good price. There was I only saw one of them. There was one of them on eBay. The the, the seller used to just keep relisting it for ninety, ninety, ninety. Then he put it on an auction. I was able to get it for like twenty. Um, this is a nice one though. I'm out of twenty five. Paul George on ninety nine. I picked this was a redemption. I picked it up before he exploded for like ten bucks. James Harden out of forty nine. Also picked this up really early. Um, before it went up in value. Uh, Steph Curry out of 99 also picked this one up before he shot up. I think I picked this up for 15 bucks. And then finally, the best one, Kobe um, out of 99. Honestly, Steph Curry could be worth more now. I don't even know because Kobe is pumping out his autographs left and right in Panini products. But this is a really nice card. My only Kobe auto. And it's in the set. So, yeah, really happy to have that. And if you have any of these guys, let me know. Um... Definitely would be willing to try to work out a trade or buy. Um, especially for some of the ones I've never even seen on eBay or anywhere else. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. And um, let me know what kind of videos you want me to make. Um, if, you want me to, if you want to see a collection update or how I organize my collection. I got a full box of prisms if you want to see that stuff. Like a whole like three or whatever, like four row, like those storage boxes. Full of all like the prism and uh, select stuff I've broken. And uh, yeah, so just let me know what you want to see. Thanks for watching.